Hi, this is Dr. Sperling, a.k.a. Dr. Nail Nipper, and I am here with my patient today, who is the owner of this lovely nail, and uh, you're going by the name of? Erica. Erica today. Okay, so Erica, why don't you tell us a little bit about how the nail got to this place? Well, I had banged my foot, my toe, against a door, and a few days after that, it kind of turned black, and I thought, well, the nail's just going to fall off. Well, it never did. It turned black. It seemed Ooh, to look heal. look at that piece. Ooh, gross. That's a great piece. That is gross. I make a so necklace gross. out of that. Oh, please. <laughs> it just, it never healed. Um, and the nail continued to grow. It puffed up. Um, and then it started to turn away from my actual toe and grow sideways. I tried to manage it. I tried to emery board it. I tried to do, even cut it myself. It wasn't working. And then it just got to the place where it was so bad, I was embarrassed to show anybody how I'd injured it and asked for help. Okay, well, we're glad that you did come in because at the end of this, we'll have a picture of what it looks like now. Everybody wants to know about the dog hair right there. Yeah, that was our, <laughs> our wonderful dog who passed away. And uh, for some reason, as that nail kept growing, it just would not, the, the nail just kind of trapped the dog hair. I showered every day. It didn't matter. It was embedded way underneath the nail. Did you try anything else for this? Any, like, did everybody, did anybody see it and tell you to try and, uh, antifungal stuff or? Well, when people thought it was fungus related, that was it. Everybody had a cure for a fungus, but it wasn't fungus related. It was an injury to the nail bed. And so I just, I tried soaking it sometimes. I tried doing lots of things, but not, not to, not to be. Okay. So a lot of people are looking at this and, and commenting. Oh, the comments are great, by the way. We, we love reading the comments, but <laughs> um, they're asking if this hurt while I was trimming it like this. No, I didn't feel a thing. You held my toe nice and straight, and uh, I prepared for the worst, and there was no worst. It was, it was painless. And what did you notice in your shoe after this, like when you went home? Well, I could wear any kind of shoe now. Typically, I was, um, I was wearing mostly all the time uh, tennis shoes. I couldn't wear any other kind of shoe because the nail got in the way and it dug into the other nails that were healthy. And uh, now I can wear almost any kind of a shoe and, uh, and that's a real blessing. Well, as we're coming to the end of this, because this is looking pretty sweet right now and it's looking and and those of you who are regular watchers know I don't use the Dremel anymore, but um, <laughs> is there anything that you would like to say to the, the almost 3 million viewers who have watched this? I would say that if you have an injury or any kind of condition that you're embarrassed about, uh, don't. Don't be embarrassed. Go to a professional, have them take a look at you, make their best recommendation for treatment. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Erica. Thank and you. Uh, thank you for watching. All right. Thanks.